In the pursuit of a better life, many are working longer hours at work and feeling the stress that comes with it. And recent studies have shown that the social effects of the COVID-19 pandemic, staying indoors, anxiety over jobs, and reduced social interaction have a negative impact on our mental health. While there are no easy solutions, nature can have a positive effect on our mental situation. In this episode of Our Better Nature, we find out how therapeutic gardens and gardening itself can help the mental well-being of the population, from young to old. So Emily, you know Singapore, we have a reputation as being a concrete and urban jungle. Right next door, we're seeing drilling and construction works going on. But within the country, we also have little green oases and you have a gardening plot here in Hot Park. So what made you decide to you know, lease this plot? Well, you see, I use this for my experiment. So over here, because you have full sun, and then a plot with very good depth of soil. So we can do our plants, and then if we get good harvest, and we do crop rotation, and we learn from each other, get experience, then improve our quality of our harvest as well. Emily has been gardening for over 30 years. And in 2016, she decided to bid for a plot at the allotment garden in Hot Park. So what's the difference between gardening at home and gardening here in the allotment garden? See, gardening at home is small scale. Gardening over here, you will find that you have more people to talk to, and then you share your crop, you learn from each other. So what are some tips that you have learned from other gardeners? I learned how to make uh, your own fish emulsion for my neighbour here. <laughs> you know, and then you learn from people what kind of fertiliser to use and how often you feed. A study done by Ann Parks found that those who engaged in about an hour of gardening a week actually had higher mental resilience scores compared to those who didn't. So Emily, you did mention gardening helps you stay active. So how, how does it keep your mind active? Caring for plants, like for this plant, you took at this plant, you trim it. After trimming, you find that the plant will be healthier. Then if you don't trim it, you find that the plant ages very fast, you know, and it's not healthy. And then sometimes you find, oh, this plant is very weak, you know, I need to add fertilizer. Mm. So these are some things that you have to consider. So all this keep your mind working. After gardening here for over six years, it seems like, you know, it's brought your family closer, you meet new friends, keeps you active. How, how would you say your life has changed? You are more open, I would say. You meet new people, and you just talk because people who are here, they look at plants, so it's more common topic. And uh, you keep yourself very busy. So every time I'm here, you know, they will ask as though as though I know a lot of them, but actually I learn I learn from what I'm doing here, and I just share with them my experience. That's all. The importance of nature and green spaces to our physical, emotional, and mental well-being cannot be understated, particularly in a land scarce country like Singapore. To bring forth these benefits to health and well-being, the National Parks Board is working towards transforming Singapore into a city in nature, which includes providing a variety of green spaces that can be enjoyed by all visitors. One such place is Jurong Lake Gardens. As we meander through the garden, you notice that the design is always looping and it loops in a circle and it comes back to the same spot. So this is a design principle we put in um, because you want to encourage, uh, for seniors for example, with uh, conditions of dementia, the idea is to bring them back to the same place so that they don't get lost. So how is designing a therapeutic garden different from, say, like a regular garden? Right, so there's a lot more thought put in into the curation of the planting. The planting includes plants that bring out colour, bring out the sense of smell, your pandan, and then touch and texture. But these are also plants that are selected to evoke uh, and memories, uh, particularly among the seniors, so that that helps them, you know, uh, cognitively. A study conducted between 2018 and 2019, done in collaboration with the Sorsui Hawk School of Public Health, showed that participants who visited parks during the day were less stressed on the same evening than those who didn't. The park also has a children's zone in the therapeutic garden to encourage adventure and play, where children can wander through and discover nature. It also has a musical zone. Why music? Sound again invokes a certain sense of sensory elements for kids and it also gives them a chance to focus their attention on play, playing a particular equipment. Right? There you go. <laughs> so this benefits not just children, anyone who comes in and then plays a touch. It's a, it's a sense of discovery. Uh, likewise here, like we talk about sounds of nature. So you're mimicking. As kids turn, you have sand, you have stones, bottle caps, beads. So it also kind of teaches children that a lot of our materials that we use in our everyday lives actually comes from nature. 
So how does the Nature Play Gardens you know, fit in with NPARC's efforts to have therapeutic gardens um, in more parts of Singapore? Yeah. And I guess there's also plans to have more Nature Play Gardens in the other parks? Yeah, so we are rolling out more and more Nature Play Gardens of different scales and different uh, concepts and designs. The idea is to bring nature close to play, get kids connected more with nature. Yes, we know many of our children today are very much you know, behind their screens. So the idea is to bring them out and in a way which gets them to connect with nature very, very naturally. Getting away from screens to go out and play doesn't just apply to children. With the parks, natural spaces and gardens around us, perhaps we should take a break from our busy schedule to smell the roses, whether in a park or planted by us. Are you ready to make the move? Check out the Singapore Green Plan 2030 website to find out more.